12 ways to crush your own testicles in your own home. Welcome to the internet. There are two main techniques involved in causing the sensation of pain within the testicles. They're administering a sharp blow as in punching, hitting, kicking, etc. And crushing as in squeezing, etc. Personally, I've always enjoyed sticking, striking my nuts with a sharp blow as this stimulates the effect of being hit in the groin by a woman. It also causes a more severe wave of pain to wash through them. Having said that, any man who has had his gonads squeezed by an angry woman will know how debilitating a good squeeze can be. A useful hint at this point, I feel it would be useful to mention an item of clothing which I found invaluable in ball busting. Whether you crush your own nads or have someone else do it for you, get yourself a pair of Lycra cycling shorts. It is a fact of life that vulnerable to a sharp blow as your balls are, God designed them to move about in the scrotum and escape injury quite well. There is an answer. Buy yourself some of those skin-tight Lycra shorts that cyclists wear. If you slip an elastic band over your balls and then don the shorts, you'll find the impossible becomes easy. Your balls are held completely central between your legs. They cannot move or escape and the shorts are so tight that they hold your penis up out of the way basically this means that every hit whack sharp blow or whatever goes directly into your balls it's wonderful this is useful also if someone else is trying to crush your nuts my mistress used to often miss my nuts when she kicked me she'd often get my cock by accident instead with the lycra shorts on my balls are held firmly in the same place for her and judging by the bulge they make in the shorts she can see them too you may have to experiment to position your balls just right between your legs but believe me lycra for shorts make ball busting so much easier. I dare any man to take many hits to his balls from an apple in a sock while they're bound with elastic bands and unable to escape. Try it! First, let's look a few simple and quick ways to whack your balls. Method 1. The apple. Believe it or not, a humble apple can cause a significant amount of pain to your testicles. Just ask me. It's been one of my favorite techniques since I began experimenting. All you need is an average sized apple and a sock. Simply drop an average sized, even shaped apple into the end of a sock. It then becomes like the classic street fight weapon of a pole ball in a sock. All you have to do is drop your trousers, expose your sack to the air, then swing the sock as hard as you can, aiming to strike your testes with the apple. If you have fairly average balls and don't regularly torch them too much, a good solid whack on each should be enough to provide a quite reasonable level of pain. Of course, there are no limits and you can go on whacking them as much as you like. This is a quiet method too. Something important for those of us who live in a close proximity of others. Some of you may be sitting there thinking, why not use something heavier than an apple, like a baseball for instance? Well, whatever you strike your own testicles with is entirely up to you. I have also always found an apple to give a satisfying thump if swung hard enough. I also always have one around as I am a big fruit eater. Brings a whole new meaning to the term bruised fruit. Try it. Method 2. The heel. This method is effective either nuts out or when you're clothed. Find a shoe of some kind. Most men will find this method more sexually stimulating when using a woman's shoe, like a high-heeled shoe or similar. Myself, I've always found a more satisfying level of pain can be accomplished by using a heavy boot of some kind. A sneaker will do the job quite well. Be warned. Be very, very careful if you opt to use a shoe with a narrow, sharp heel. You may end up doing more damage to your nuts than you intended. If doing this naked, hold your penis up out of the way with one hand and hold the shoe firmly with your other hand. Hold it by the toe so you can bring the heel down sharply into your nuts. Get ready, raise the shoe away from you and then wham! Smack the heel of your shoe to your crotch as hard as you can. With a heavy work boot or something, you can really cause a significant level of pain to be felt in the gonads. You can also try resting your balls over the edge of a hard surface like a table or something or placing a hard object between them, behind them and hitting with them with a solid object behind there isn't anywhere for the force of the hit to go and 90% of the impact is felt in the balls and have a very simple quick to administer way of getting your kicks. Try it! 
Method three, the toilet seat. Oh yes, the common everyday toilet seat is actually a testicle crushing device. Par excellence. You will find it works better if you first slip an elastic band around your sack so your nuts are held tightly together in the end of the scrotum. Kneel down in front of the toilet and lift the lid back as high as it will go. <laughs> then rest your jewels upon the edge of the seat. I think you can guess what comes next. Let the lid drop and crunch. Your nuts get firmly squished between the seat and lid. This is a really simple, quick way of causing a sharp blow to your testicles. Of course, some toilet seats are heavier than others, so caution is advised. For best results, hold your penis out of the way with your spare hand so your balls get the full force of the impact. Once you have gouged how painful it is to crush both nuts this way, you can progress to doing one at a time, which should promote a decent aching sensation in your glands. If you are into real pain, it is also possible to sit on your own testicles. Ow! Slip the elastic band around your sack above the balls as before. Then, and this bit is tricky, turn away from the toilet, slide your balls between seat and lid, and sit. Warning, this technique can put virtually all your weight directly upon your nuts. Be careful if you try this. You may end up going off ball busting altogether after this. I almost did. But because you won't have any balls to bust anymore, <laughs> you will. But they'll be pretty flat. Try it if you dare. Method 4. The wardrobe cupboard door. Oh god, just thinking back to how I tried this technique in my early teens brings tears to my eyes. As with many of the self-busting methods, slip an or several elastic band around your sack above the balls. This keeps them tight together at the bottom of the scrotum and makes them especially vulnerable. You will need to find a wardrobe or something similar that you can stand in front of. The idea is to sandwich your jewels directly between the edge of the door and the door frame itself. When they're in the position, push yourself against the door to hold them firmly in place. With them held snugly between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> Bring your knee back behind you. Be careful not to let your balls escape as this point, then knee the door as hard as you dare. Your balls will be crushed nicely. As a young man, this was one of the first ways I ever tried to hurt myself. I wasn't expecting much and need the door with moderate force. I must have trapped my nuts in just the right place because it absolutely hurt like hell. The pain was so sharp and intense that I collapsed on the floor and spent several minutes down there in considerable pain. This method can be hard to get right, but when you do, you'll know it. Try it. Method 5. Fists and elbows. If no ball-busting objects are available, you can always try punching or elbowing, elbowing yourself in the balls. Grab your balls with one hand, bring them tightly together in a protruding bulge with the other hand. Punch them as hard as you can. This is a good way of getting a quick fix if no other tools are available. I've tried bending over and elbowing myself in the balls too. This sort of simulates being kneed in the balls, but without quite so much force. Usually your elbow will miss, but sometimes it'll catch you just right and can be quite painful. Many times I've bent over and taken a few minutes to recover after my elbow caught me right between the balls. Try it. Method 6. Automatic tennis ball firers. <laughs> well, actually, I admit this is more a fancy of mine and not something many of us will get the chance to try out. If you happen to be lucky enough to try it, though, I'm sure it would work very well. I always used to wonder what it would feel like to be on the receiving end of a fast tennis ball to the nuts. This got me thinking. If you happen to own one of those machines that fires tennis balls at high speed, why not stand in front of it one day? <laughs> Every shot would go in pretty much the same place, and you could have hours of fun this way. I know the sheer tennis balls are quite a force too, so if one did hit you in the nuts, I'd imagine it would hurt rather nicely. <laughs> Try it. Method 7. Plastic Pipes and Heavy Balls for this method, you will again require the elastic band around the sack trick. You also need to find a length of plastic pipe, maybe three feet in length, and the wider the better. You will also need a heavy ball of some kind, or a rock. Ooh! The idea is to sit on the floor, resting your elasticated nuts upon the ground. Position one end of the tube over your balls and the other end virtually into the air. Then place the heavy ball rock into the top of the tube and let go. Crunch! It will drop down the tube and land directly upon your sperm testosterone glands. Nice. It's difficult to know what to recommend as a weight to drop into the tube. 
I used a length of plastic pipe about 2.5 to 3 feet long and about 6 inches in the same diameter. Doesn't sound like much, but after 2 or 3 hits, my nuts would be beginning to ache quite nicely. It's also important to remember to sit your nuts either on the floor or have a hard object behind them. If you don't, you won't feel the full effect. Yum yum. Try it. F8, the electric fence. Mmm. Now this is always an interesting experience. If you live in the country, you'll probably have strolled around the fields at some time and accidentally touched the portion of your anatomy onto an electric fence. You know the ones I mean, they're strung up around fields to stop cattle or livestock from straying. This is where the fun comes in. Find one in the de a deserted area, or go out at night so no one can see what you're doing, and drop your trousers. Then lift your penis up, dangle your balls onto the fence. <laughs> they don't generate enough voltage to be dangerous, but believe me, the sensations they provoke within the testicles are very interesting indeed. I'm not too sure as to what the sperm in your balls will make of it. Have fun! Try it. F9, elasticated balls. <laughs> you know, those outdoor games you can get where you have a ball on a piece of elastic and hit it with a bat. <laughs> In many different stores you can buy these. They usually consist of a post you push into the ground and a tennis ball or something similar which is connected to the top of the post with a long length of el elastic. Discard the post. You just need the other parts. Tie the electric elastic to a short rod of some kind, a stick from your back will do, then kind of sit over it so the stick is pushing against your buttocks and the elastic is running out between your legs in front of you. Set it so the elastic with the ball on the end comes out in front of you from directly underneath your scrotum. Here comes the fun. Pull the ball away from you as far as you can and let go. It will fly back towards your groin and if you are lucky, it will hit you solidly right between the balls. Due to random variables in the physics of this technique, it won't hit exactly the same spot each time. Sometimes it will miss, sometimes it will strike one testicle firmly, sometimes it will hit you slap bang between the testicles. Great! It incorporates an element of surprise into the fun. Try it. Method 10. Uh, not quite sure what to call this one. This device is probably the ultimate in home DIY ball busting gadgets. I read about it at a forum for ball busting, possibly the European Ball Busting Board, but I'm not sure. All credit goes to whoever thought this one up, as I can't remember either. Duh! You will need a few items to construct this. Some lengths of cord or finished rope, a 2 litre plastic drinks bottle, a plastic bag, some hooks, oh, a pair of balls willing to be hurt, cup type hooks should be fine. The idea is to suspend the bottle full of water, therefore quite heavy, in the plastic bag from the ceiling. The plastic bag helps as you are aiming to hang the bottle from the ceiling and get it swinging in an arc. Screw the hooks into the ceiling, perhaps two feet apart. Attach a length of cord rope to each hook. At the bottom, tie each cord to each of the two handles of your plastic bag. A typical medium-sized shopping bag is about right. Place the water-filled plastic bottle into this bag so it is lying flat. You should now have a heavy weight suspended in front of you from the ceiling. In case you hadn't already guessed, you want it suspended at testicle height. So stand in front of it and let the end of the bottle touch your groin. If it sticks straight into your nuts, well, hey, it's in just the right place. Now, hopefully, if you position it in yourself in just the right place and throw the bag away from you, it will swing back, catch you smartly in the balls, I hope I've explained this well enough for you to get a general idea of what you're trying to achieve. The fact that the bottle is in the bag and suspended from two hooks means it should swing in more or less the same arc each time. The plastic bag helps cradle it. You can also attach a rope to the far end of the bottle bag and slip it through another hook man in a far wall. This way you can simply pull it to raise the bottle ready for another whack. Because it is full of water, if raised high enough it has quite a lot of momentum and will connect with your testes quite firmly. But that's not all. With the base of the bottle hitting you in the nuts, especially if it comes slightly upward at the end of its arc, it simulates a knee to the balls very nicely. Turn the bottle around so the cap hits you in the nuts and it feels like the point of a shoe kicking you in the balls. <laughs> Fantastic! Try it. The above methods are some of the easiest way you can administer a sharp blow to your scrotal contents. There are, of course, those of us who prefer a good squeeze. Well, there are an infinite assortment of ways to do this, too. Here are just a few ways I've squeezed my own testicles over the years. 
Method 11. The workshop vice. Hmm, a lot of households have a workshop. Maybe an area of the garage where father stores his tools, little known to most of us. The workshop contains one of the most evil and age-old torture devices known to man. The vice. In olden days, a popular torture was to crush the testicles of a victim until he let forth the information desired. Well, you guessed it, you can do the same. <laughs> Place an elastic band around your sack above the balls as mentioned above. Put your balls into the jaws of the vice. Turn the handle as many times as you dare. The important thing to remember is to make sure no one could accidentally catch you at it. How you could ever explain what you're doing with your own testicles trapped in a vice and no one else around is not even something you want to think about. This is, also, this is another fiendishly simple method and has several distinct advantages. Firstly, like all the techniques I've described, it doesn't require many materials. Secondly, it really will crush your testicles as much as you want. Caution is advised, however. It goes without saying that in a vice, your nuts really could end up totally and utterly crushed if you weren't careful. If you decide to try this method with your partner, mistress, instead of alone, be absolutely sure she knows when to stop. Try it. Method 12. Books and Clocks. Slip an elastic band around your sack to keep the balls together in a nice tight bulge and prevent them from escaping. Then stand in front of a table or any uh, suitable scrotum height flat surface with your balls resting on the table. Begin to pile books or anything else that will do the trick on top of them. When they really are starting to ache and you're feeling a bit uncomfortable, set a stopwatch going or watch the minute hand of a nearby clock. Set yourself a time limit to beat like, I'm going to stand here and not take the weight off my balls for full five minutes. You'll quickly begin to suffer more and more as the pain increases, but don't give up. Force yourself to go with it. It can be a real turn on to imagine yourself tied there and having your nuts crushed by a wickedly merciless mistress. I used to pile a big stack of books onto my nuts and after two minutes my face would be grimacing, my teeth would be clenched and I'd have tears in my eyes. Try it. Well folks, that's it for now. I hope these DIY ball busting tips will get you started on the road to agony. They have nearly all been tested personally, for all but the automatic tennis ball machine and the bottle hanging from the ceiling device. I can vouch for them all. I'm sure there are many, many other ways you can easily crush your balls and I'd be fascinated to hear about them. Andy has created a forum where you can post ideas, so if you feel miss something important here, post it for everyone to see. I'd also be very interested to hear how you get on trying them, so please push your stories of ball busting and let us all know how it went. That's all. Good luck with trying these ideas out. I will see you all soon. Blah, 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 the end.